Hey cats, what's happening? Hey, we got a little project going on today, and this is kind of an RV related thing. Um, I don't know if you guys like cooking over the fire, but you know V and I, we like cooking over the fire a lot. You see my arm still gimped up after my surgery. I'm two weeks in on recovery. I got a few more weeks. I'm not allowed to move this arm yet. So I got some a little one-handed project here I'm going to do. I thought today, uh, you know, we had talked about it. We had seen different uh, uh, cookers when we've been out camping. We've seen other people that use cookers around their RVs. Uh, but this is like a trivet or a tripod thing that goes over the top of your fire ring and suspends a grill on it. And you can cook everything on your grill and you can adjust it up or down whatever height you want depending on what you're going to make. And uh, I thought it was a pretty slick idea. So I'm going to try to make one today with one hand. Of course, I still have the use of this hand so I can kind of use it a little bit. Uh, I just can't really move my arm. So we'll see how this works. The first thing I did is uh, I went to the big orange uh, home store and I bought these rings. I'm probably only going to use one of them and those will attach at the top. I got uh, 10 foot of chain and this is number 135 chain, 15, well, 15 foot of it. So that should be plenty of chain and some S hooks. I'll show you how all that goes together. And then we got this this rebar, I believe this is half inch rebar, it's the thicker stuff, uh, comes in 10 foot lengths, so I'm going to have to do some cutting on this. I've got a uh, grinder here, that way I don't have to do a lot of work. I got a uh, cutting blade on there for cutting steel. I'm going to cut these to 5 foot lengths. Uh, that way the legs will be five foot tall. There we go, now we got three of these. One, two, three. They're all five foot. Now I go to step two. Now, do I have a plan for this? No. No plan at all. Kind of winging it. You know, I had an idea in my head what I wanted to do, so I'm pretty sure this is all going to work. Now the idea is I'm going to connect all of these with these rings. So I need to drill a hole through each one of these that I can feed this ring through, and that'll connect them all at the top so that it'll stand up like a tripod. So my next job is to drill a hole through, you know, all three of these rebar so that I can get this attached. And we got a hole. Now these rings that I got, um, they came in a two-pack. I think I'm only going to use one. But that's going to hold the top together, and it's a solid ring. So again, I'm going to have to use the cutter and make a cut in that thing, and then open it up so that I can fit it into the holes that I drilled on the three, my three legs. So that's step two. So I'm going to put the ring in the vise, tighten the vise up. Again, I'm going to use my grinder to make a cut in that thing. Safety first, protect the eyes. These are protective eyeglasses, not sunglasses. They're shatterproof and they cover everything so a spark won't fly in my eye. Or in case these wheels break, sometimes these wheels will break, they'll shatter. you got to be protected from that too. You want to keep your head back, do the work. gets pretty hot too just from that little bit of cutting and you'll notice I didn't put a lot of pressure on it you just kind of want to let the blade feed itself through because the more pressure you put on there any bind or anything like that can cause those blades to break you just got to take it easy with these things now I'm going to put it back in the vise and I'm going to open this up so I can feed it through those 
So I've got a nice big pair of channel locks here and those work for things like this. I can grab hold of that and I can pry that wide open. So see I've opened it right up like a spring and I'll close it back up once I get everything all put together. Okay, got all three legs here. Now we'll see how this is going to work. Like I said, I didn't have a plan for this, um, but I was pretty sure it was going to work in my head. So I feed through the through the one like that, and I'll just keep going through number two, and one more, number three. Okay, they're all three there. Now I'm going to grab my channel locks here. Let me do, I can't really use this one arm, so I'm going to put it down like this. And I'm going to pinch that back together, if I can. There we go. Get that right back up there. And then if I open these up a little further, bring this around. Oh, one more click. I can grab hold of it like that, and I can squeeze it right together. All right. Let's see how it's going to work. Set it up over the campfire like that. Ta-da! So that part's done, and it's a success. Now I've got some chain I'm going to attach up here, and that'll hang down, and then we'll attach our grill to that. Okay, I got 15 foot of chain here. I'm not going to need all of it, but I'm going to attach one end up here um, kind of permanently and leave it hanging down pretty low uh, where it's going to hook up so it'll be adjustable. And so my next step is to cut this and hook it onto this. Again, simple little cutting job. Open that up. It's going to be hot, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to feed it right up through there like that. And that's going to hang right down on my fire. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? How do you like that? Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna cut it here, because where it goes from here, it's gonna split off into threes. So maybe I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Because like I said, I don't have a plan for this. Uh, I can always patch things, but I'd rather do it right the first time. So in the truck here, I've got the grill part. Bought the grate at Home Depot. I think it's for a Weber grill. It's a real heavy duty uh, steel grill. That's going to suspend pretty much like right here. And it's going to be adjustable to whatever height we want it over the fire. So we'll be able to throw bacon on there, burgers, steaks, fish, whatever we want to cook over the fire. Perfect. So I guess the next step is just to cut some length of chain. So yeah. 
what I want to determine is when I hook the chain up to this, where I hook the chain up to it, how high do I need it to come into the middle where it's not going to be in the way, which is probably going to be somewhere about like that. See, if I make the chain too short, it's going to be, you know, not enough room to put food on there when I have three different attachments. So I have to make it high enough where I can still work under the, <clears throat> probably about like that, I'm going to guess. So let me get my tape measure. I'm looking at about 20 inches there. So I think I'll cut each one to 20 inches and we'll go with that. I always double check my work too. So yeah, I'm going to write about 20 inches with that. And I got, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 links at 20 inches. So we'll go with that. Bend that open a little further. Hope that works. Yep. it'll be easier to reconnect it. Kind of looks like I'm doing blacksmithing here, being the village smithy. That's what the blacksmith always did. He did all the metal work for the village. There's one piece. Okay, I've got I, I I got the one chain cut. I'm hooking all three pieces on there, so it's actually going to hang about like that on the grill. So let's let's tighten up this. If we can get it in a vise, because that'll be the final the final link to the cooking trivet. And we got that on there. Perfect. Then I want to take, and I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit. Don't hurt yourself. No, I'm not. Yeah, I like that a little better. Okay, now you'll see, up all the way to the ground. Now what are you going to do, Itchy? Well, look at this. That's what I bought these for. And I'm going to show you how this works. You take one of these S-hooks, and you can attach it up here anywhere. And I'll probably attach it permanently, but I can take this to any level, and I can bring it up and hook it like that and it'll hang at whatever level I want over the fire. The neat thing about this is while I'm cooking over the fire you know I can make it spin so everything will heat evenly and it'll just keep going back and forth like this while it's cooking so everything will get cooked nice and evenly. How do you like that? An automatic trivet for over the campfire. Adjust the height to whatever temperature you want. What can it hold? Just about anything you want. Set your stuff on there, your meat, your hamburger, your steaks, your hot dogs, whatever you want to cook. And it's not going to tip. It's going to work out perfect for you. And I'll show you how sturdy it is. Even if we had everything all over on this one side, it's not going to tip. You're not going to lose your meat. 
I don't like that. So there you go. There's your uh, campfire cooking trivet. It's a pretty easy project. I don't remember, what did we spend on that? 30 some dollars. Somewhere in the ballpark of $35, we got ourselves a campfire cooking trivet. Now, it folds up real easy when we're ready to put it away. Three legs just come together. And there you go. That's the whole unit right there. Go to set it up. One, easy as one, two, three. So we will, uh, we'll paint, we'll take it outside and we'll spray paint it up with a high temperature heat. But paint. now I see one issue. What? I'm going to have to get you a big old oven mitt because if this is over the fire and you want to pick this up, you're going to burn yourself. Well, you wear a glove or something. You get to pick yeah. it up. Yep. You wear a glove or something. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this. Me too. I can't wait. When we go going camping next time, I'm ready to use it. We'll get that arm healed up already. I've crimped this uh, S-hook on up near the top, kind of permanently. So it'll hang right there and it won't fall off. You won't lose it when you're moving stuff around either. Now before I was all done, one thing I did here is I took the grinder and I, I just kind of ground these sharp edges off. Because when, when you get it from Home Depot, these ends of these rebar are real sharp. So that all got ground down uh, where it's user friendly, where you're not going to get hurt. Well, my tripod cooker's all done, and I'll tell you what, wearing this sling made it like a hundred times more difficult, but I was able to do it. This thing is so hot and sweaty right now. My arm is literally soaking wet. Um, you know, like I said, hand moves around just fine, because that's not the part that was broke. It's the shoulder up top, so as long as I keep that stationary and don't move it, I'm okay. Uh, still no driving though, but a uh, little job like this, I had to do something because I'm going stir crazy. So anyway, here's the finished product. Uh, you'll see I got the ring attaching the three posts at the top. And uh, then the chain is attached to that. That hangs down. And there's the little trivet. The legs, you know, you can take and you can move them out wherever you want, depending on how big your fire ring is. You can put them in closer. And then the, the height, of course, adjusts easily by just depending on where you hook this link on the chain. You get it to whatever level you want. So there you go, the homemade cooker trivet for campfires and that'll go right in our hemi for the next camp out.